some of my people with something to decide for game. If this is your first time coming across my video, my name is Two Times. I'll go by the name Two Times. Join the family by subscribing. We are the independent. I just fucked up the intro. Join the independent Noto squad. We are an independent icon. We are out the way, but we are a small channel. Basically, I upload on a consistent schedule. If it's not every day, it's every other day. We upload gaming videos, would you rather, Q and A, story times, which I'm got a story time coming up for y'all. But today, I want to talk to y'all about something deep and intimate. So, this we gonna have a moment to just think about this. How can I even explain this? My biggest thing is, let's say for example. This goes on and it still happens to this day. My biggest thing is, would you really mess with somebody if they was not popular or it didn't, if they didn't have the clothes or shoes and none of that? Cause there's people that I graduated with and there's people that graduated before me and there's still people that's in the, the yeah, in the school that I graduated. I graduated from Chalwood Madison High School. So there's a lot of people that's popular than me that has more clothes and money supposedly that's the word popularity so i mean you think about it for a second so let's 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 get into it what am i talking about first off far as popularity and shoes and whatnot okay think about it. i'm not going to say any names but this is just what i visualize there's people that just went to my school and there's people that's still going and attending to my school they have 13.k followers, 20k followers, 30k followers, right? Okay, so if that person didn't have that many things or that many followers, all these clothes, cars, shoes, and all that, would you mess with them? The biggest question is, or the biggest answer is no, because again, the generation and society that we live in, I'm talking to my fellow people, y'all that's watching me, we live in a society where people like to play two sides of the coin. Heads or tails, you got to pick both sides. That's what they think. I stay by a code of mine, which is my personal code, that I'm going to be real regardless. So let's put racism in a situation. Racism will never go away, no matter how big or how small this world is. If racism literally was invented, that was created before we was born, what made you think that when we get off this earth, it's not going to stop? It originally happened before even our parents was born. So the simple fact that people just want to be on a bandwagon and who's popular and what they said we're going to say. Be yourself. Be truthful to yourself. Because nine times out of ten, if the people didn't have these shoes, these clothes, these popularity, you would not fuck with them. If they was not attractive, you would not fuck with them. So it's like... I see it every day. First off, <laughs> got the Cardi glasses. Now, nah, let me not get this. What's the word for it? It's so much catastrophe going on in this world that we will never have peace. And just the Devon and Kwando situation happened about two months ago, three months ago. People are expecting dirt to slide. Okay, if y'all fans, y'all will, un if y'all were true, this is goes for the man, this goes for the whole entire world. If your man's is down, I understand it's immediate reaction, but you have to think about it in the foreground. If this was a situation far as be pitch yourself in his shoes, show empathy for a second. There's so many mixed emotions that's going on in his head. That goes for example, let's say for instance, if Fanta was to get killed, which I pray she doesn't because I got her back. I let her go to death. If she was to get killed, I, my immediate reaction, how I would think is badly because my immediate reaction, if that was to happen, I would have went to jail because I would have killed the person that killed her. But the thing is, Dirk was not in that situation. So if she with me, I'm gonna, whatever she do, I'm on. If she fighting, I'm fighting. If she shoot, I shoot. That's how it should have went down. But it didn't, unfortunately. So the thing is, if y'all are fans or if y'all mature, if anything, if y'all level-headed, y'all will know. In a circumstance like that, y'all will not pull the trigger right away. Because if you do that, you're immediate. You're going to be facing time. There's things I got to think about. In situations like that, man, y'all got to think about responsibilities. I got to think about sacrifices, man. It's so crazy that it's literally the reason why these people are popping. They're not fans. This goes for the people that's coming for the come up. They're not fans. 
The people that's been down, that's humble like me, I'm doing this for myself. I'm building a foundation for myself. The reason why these people are 14K deep, 20K, 50K deep is because on what they're wearing and who they are and if they're attractive. If they didn't have the clothes, if they didn't have the attractiveness, if they didn't have the money, nobody would be fucking with them. Let's put this for example in the stands. If Fanta, if she wasn't the person she was today, I still fuck with her because that's the type that be that's the type of person I am. If you are, I don't allow nobody in my circle. Nobody. This is why in every video or I'm by myself. So let's say for instance, it's the vibe and the energy that you give off to me will determine if I will allow you to be around me. Because best believe I don't allow nobody around me. Ever since that McDonald's situation, all that fuck ass shit, I'm going to get into that on the story time. The story time is the real reason why I am who I am today. I will leave that for the next story time to get that deep into it. But I'm not allowing that. I'm just not allowing that as you shouldn't. People are so are close. They, they're so clustered on somebody's personality or how they look, bro. They don't know how they move. I don't I don't move with the foul, weird energy. I don't do that. If y'all know me, man, y'all know I open up to y'all, bro. I just be in my zone. So it's the simple thing is when I'm up and blowing, bro, don't come. The thing is, you got to think about it like this. People that's popping now, or as far as the people that's in my school, it's only been like two people that mess with them. The rest, oh, she bad. She got fat ass. Oh, she got some. She got a chest and she cute. She ain't had none of that. Oh, she can dress. She ain't had none of that. Y'all won't be messing with him. Oh, this dude, oh, he got money. Oh, yeah, he flexing. Oh, he got a Hemi in his car. All that type of shit. People just flex just to flex, bro. I I don't need to flex to show on what I got. I'm making it. I'm very much alive. I'm fine. So it's a simple fact that are y'all true to yourselves? Because people really not supporting you. What happened? What what happens when you go down bad? I guarantee you, nobody gonna fuck with you besides one person. If anything, if one person, zero. You're down bad. Everybody is not perfect. Everybody has their days when they're down bad. So think about it. Put yourself in a situation. If you up and going and you flop, it's going to be probably one person or who really in your circle that's going to pick you up. I done flopped a couple times as far as decision making and all that. But in actuality, I really don't care at the end of the day. When you say this world will be forever racist, because I'm a I'm a male, I play video games. Y'all see me play video games. I've been called the N word several times, nigger. But the thing is, I get called by them by people that's uneducated, that's ignorant, or they're older than me and don't understand, which they should, or younger than me. People are so fast as when they hear somebody black. This not even a black thing. This goes for everything. If you are Caucasian, African American, Latina, Mexican, everything. This goes for any other thing. Racism is forever a thing. It's people that say, oh, you fucking, you know, the, the white word, the Latina word, all that type word. You don't even know the circumstances or you don't know the true meaning of it. You just heard your dick in the booty ass friend say it so you want to jump on his meat stick and say that like y'all don't know what it means so for you to 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 say things to other people it takes a toll and you don't know what they're going through that's why i don't judge and that's why i don't okay i'm not gonna lie i talk shit i'll be like you track yeah i talk shit like that but i don't say nothing ignorant that's out my fourth wall y'all gotta think about it man when y'all say stuff to people, bro, it affects people. Y'all gotta watch what y'all really say. Like, I just got, like, not too long, like, literally, I think a month ago, I got called a nigger. The thing about me is, I'm the right guy. I mean, like, I y'all know who, I don't give a fuck at the end of the day. I don't get, I, I've been called lame, I've been called gay, I've been called nick, all this shit. Bro, do you see that affects me? Do you really think I give a fuck about you? And yo, and do, I, <laughs> I don't care. It's not worth my time because at the end of the day, I'm living. I'm an individual, and I'll probably have. I'm probably more stationary and more uh, financially stable than you. 
and I have more education. So why would I argue with somebody that's uneducated as fuck and their pockets is empty and their living situation is way worse? Y'all gotta think about it. Be careful who what y'all say to people, man. It's, it, it takes a toll. I'm just the guy that you can say it to me and I don't care. I mean, it's just ignorant and it's unnecessary. But for other people, that's when the bullying and suicidal comes in. When you say the wrong things to people, man, it triggers them. I've I've read articles, I've saw this and everything, man. If somebody got bullied and somebody got called this and they killed themselves. The PlayStation thing, <clears throat> y'all already hit to it. Somebody was getting bullied and they end up dying and killing themselves. So that's why they monitoring the parties and all that, bro. Y'all just gotta be careful in what y'all say to people. Like, y'all just gotta be careful. That's why y'all gotta be true to yourself. That's why, you know, how would you feel if somebody's calling your your brother, your your mom, or your girlfriend, your wife, anybody, even go for the girls. How would you feel if somebody's talking this about your boyfriend or your dad and all this whatnot, man? You will feel some type of way because it's not necessary. Like the thing is, like the this generation, my generation, our generation, the babies that's been born in twenty, I said twenty, two thousand, at the two tap two thousand, two thousand babies ignorant. I'm not even gonna cap to y'all. I'm a O1 baby, but I my, my chromosomes is in my head. People are so ignorant in this generation that the words that they say they don't even know what they mean. Like you got 13 year olds, 12 year olds on Among Us calling people niggers and you white that and you Mexican that go back to the border. Like bro, that y'all think that's cute because you got this from your friend or you just heard this. Like you don't really know the 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 definition of stuff. You just want to jump on a bandwagon. Humble yourself, man. That's why I've been in this cocoon. I've been in this cocoon of mine and I've been humble. I'm not better than nobody. I'm a different, humble person. I'm not, I don't got no beef with nobody. I'm just in my own lane. I'm in my, in my business in my own lane, man. Y'all, I, I just don't got time for it. It's in that age, bro. It's 2021. It's a new year. I done chopped everything up. I don't talk to nobody. I ain't got time for it. I got financial goals. I got this. I want to blow up on, bro. I'm my. I'm focused. I don't got time for bullshit. I don't got time for new people coming my life. I don't got time for relationships. It when the everything happens and everything when it happens is on the right time. God is guiding me through my footsteps as he's been doing for these 19 years I've been on this earth. I don't have time for the bullshit. If he wants me in a relationship, he will put me in a relationship. I'm. It's not the time right now. I'm focused. I'm in my DeWine. I'm in, I can't dwell on stuff. I can't manipulate. I can't make no excuses. This is my prime right now. I don't got time for none of that. That's why I'm by myself and I'm going to tell y'all. The next story time will be in a couple days. I'm going to tell y'all why I'm really by myself. Tune in, man. I'm going to tell y'all. But um, y'all got to be true to yourselves, man. Y'all got to stop, stop riding the bandwagons and, and really, really, really think about it and talk to God on why you are on this earth. I know why I'm on this earth. I'm a fucking prophet to protect my mom. Hold on, she coming in the room. Hold on, hold on. I, I hear her footsteps. She gonna come in this room any second, but I'm a prophet, man. Make sure my mom is okay and protect her while she's on this earth. I would die for my mom. I will take a bullet for her. Why do y'all think I got this on my chest? Come on now. It's my mom's name and her date of birth. Blood of my mom to death. But, um, y'all be safe out here, man. I just the end of the video. I love y'all, man. Wear y'all masks. Join the flame by subscribing. You want to roll to 400 subscribers. Join the Noto. Independent Noto squad. Independent icon. We never need nobody. Next video, we got a story time. Y'all tune into this. Be safe. I love y'all. Just being your boy two times. And we out. Peace.